There's actually about three different rotations, Pat, that I'm noting here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it, you who assess as well over there on that side. Two, that one we were talking three. about, and then that third one down there. appears to be a tree that has been uprooted in this yard. Again, walk us through what was back over here and what's not here now. Uh, the two trees were upright and they're gone. I was in West Little Rock at work and all my neighbors were calling to make sure I was okay because they couldn't see my house anymore. Even though we haven't had a lot of heating today, we've already had a lot of rain, we're getting those spin-ups just yeah. because you already have that uh, energy in the atmosphere. You already have a lot of spin to begin with, so you get a little bit of wind, you can start getting a rotation. That's what we've had a couple of them. Uh, we did have a report of a tornado just to the north of Sylvan Hills. So we have had at least one likely tornado. There's been some reports of some storm damage in southwest Little Rock off of uh, the baseline area. Right, in the Maplesville area. area. We are at Sibley Hole and Baseline, and we, I'm going to take a step to the side because earlier this Sibley Hole road was completely blocked by trees, and crews have arrived and are starting to uh, move them. Reports of some uh, trees down, some buildings damaged, and even some cars that have been, or some uh, tractor trailers that have been blown over as well. Couldn't hear the trucks flipping. All I could hear was stuff hitting my truck and stuff hitting around me. Uh, at this point, uh, if you can delay your travels until the water has uh, receded, until the rain has stopped and the roadways are cleared, please do so. I had to park at the end of the street and walk down here, and it was the road was pretty much flooded almost to um, above my ankles. When you have wind strong enough to send a leaf into a tree trunk without damaging the leaf, you know you've got a pretty strong, it takes some very strong winds to do that, usually in excess of 100 miles an hour.